We made great progress today. We have moved up to fifth position. Uh, we started ninth, and we're about halfway across the, the outback, uh, making steady progress. We, we we're very close to Sonnevagen in, in fourth position, and we you know we're going fast. And we our objective is obviously to shoot, uh, keep climbing the positions, and shoot for for the podium. I don't know if they can, can it stay up there with only three? Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Can you press down? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's the danger of me putting a slow blow on the input. Yeah. Just blow your fat. So it's on the part that didn't go here. But I can show it to the arch. I'm going to plug that up. I think the rubber's going to be down here. First and foremost is our solar array balancer system. So this is an incredibly complex power electronic system that allows us to extract all of the power out of a solar array. So the way a normal solar array works is um, you basically work at the weakest point of all the array cells. So if some cell is in the shade or uh, it has a crack or a defect, it's weighing all the other cells down. You have to operate at that cell's point. Um, and that happens all the time with the solar car because we have this driver canopy that casts a big shadow and you know, we're driving past trees. It's a moving vehicle. Um, so what's special about this is now we're able to tap into every single individual cell to get the maximum energy out of each of them. We're also debuting uh, a new wing system that pairs with that solar array balancer. So um, it's a vertical airfoil that uh, has two main benefits. First, it draws out forward thrust like a sail on a boat. And second, it steadies us in crosswind. So kind of like a rudder on an airplane, it helps us drive more straight in the harsh uh, winds of the outback. Yeah, so this is going to be one of our spare wings. Um, it's 3D printed, so it's printed in six pieces because we don't have a big enough printer. They all slot together, but when you put them together, there's seams. And so we have to fill the seams with what's called Bondo. Um, it's used in like cars all around the world. And we sand it incredibly smooth. So this will be the smoothest aero surface on the car. So once we saw the wing, we knew we couldn't just stop at uh, a simple wing. We had to push the envelope as much as possible. We asked, you know, if imagination were our only limit, what would it become? And that is one of the really special parts about it. It's fully robotic and it can be controlled from our chase vehicle. So um, unlike, you know, a, a sail on a sailboat that has to be controlled by also the person controlling the boat itself manually with lag, this is controlled electronically by strategists who are always focused on what is the weather.
Yeah, I mean, you know, it's obviously, it's going to get hot in the car, there's no ventilation, and it steers differently than a normal car. So you kind of just want to, like, prepare yourself for, like, the uncomfortability of it. It rides worse and all that. It's more like just physically getting ready for your, uh, your drive. Other than that, it's kind of just, it's just a drive. It's... We're just going to go ahead and put her down. So you can start on the rubber. Koga Queen, this is Michigan. We are behind you, a media car. We, please advise us when it's safe to overtake. Over. Right lane change blue is clear. Got it. <laughs> the event that we are a part of is truly a marathon. We put ourselves to the test for months and months to prepare ourselves for a one week event. And that week is fraught with challenges, uh, lack of sleep, uh, and a lot of grit and determination.